ever since the beginning of time, humans have always thought of, um, have always built things to make our life easier. Why? Because of two things. One, we're very intelligent, and two, we're very lazy. So everyone in this room right now needs technology. We needed to keep up with the pace of society. Um, however, technology is increasing at a rate so fast that it's taking away human jobs. Now, I personally love technology and think, and think that it's very interesting. However, not even I could deny that if technology keeps increasing the way that it is, it will be hard for me and all of you guys to get a job in the future. So by acknowledging the fact that technology is taking away jobs, we will be better prepared to take on the unavoidable issue which is unemployment, future unemployment. Um, I will first discuss um, how technology has taken away jobs in the past, then I will explain how technology is increasing at a much faster rate than we realize, and finally, Finally, I will explain how self-thinking machines are capable of taking away our jobs today. So, what jobs has technology put out of business? What jobs? Okay. Um, many people, especially today's generations, think that technology is a good thing and has helped us, and in many ways it has. However, for older generations, they see they are more aware of the negative effects of technology. And there is negative effects. Let me give you two quick examples. Um, the switchboard operators and the bowling alley pin setters. So the first example is the switchboard operators. For those of you who don't know, a switchboard operator is a person whose job is it to connect um, the incoming call to the other numbers. As you can imagine, this job was replaced by the device that most of you, if not all of you, have in your pocket right now, which is the cell phone. But if you look at the unemployment rate today, it is around 80%. The few businesses that still have a switchboard operator is, are either going out of business or are in need of an update. So the second example was, is the bowling alley pin setter. Yes, believe it or not, this was an actual job. And of course, it was replaced by the pin setter machine. Now, you guys may not think that this job was really important, but it did introduce kids to the working, the, to work, to earn for money. And, and it, it did teach them responsibility. <coughs> so I just, I just explained some examples of how technology has taken away jobs in the past before. So now I'll explain how technology is increasing at a much faster rate than before. Um, okay, so okay, so many people today um, don't, even though technology has taken away jobs in the past, many people don't see the, the effects of it because a lot of people still have jobs. There are still thousands of jobs out there and there are still thousands of people to work those jobs. However, technology, does have its benefits, but it is increasing at a much faster rate than before. In fact, according to Emerging Future, in um, technology is said to be 32 times more advanced in just five years. Um, to give you a perspective of this, um, it took us over a thousand years to build the telephone, it took us only around 200 years to build the cell phone from that point, and it took us only around 10 years to make the, smart, the smartphone. And now we have a new smartphone with new apps <coughs> every single year. So I, just, I first discussed how technology has taken away jobs in the past before. And I told you guys how technology is increasing at a much faster rate. Now I, I will explain how self-thinking machines are capable of taking away our jobs today. So many people, well most people, especially business people, always want the more efficient, safest, quickest way of doing things. And well, humans cannot compete with machines in this aspect. Um, let me give you two examples of this. So the first example are self-driven cars. Self-driven cars are here and they work. See, self-driven cars have a camera on top of it which is aware of the surroundings every single second. Hu given the fact that humans have a tendency to get distracted too easily, you can see how this car could take away jobs in the transportation industry. The transportation industry is around 3.4%, uh, which is this little number right here. Um, it might not seem like a lot, but if you put that in numbers, it's, it's around 100,000 jobs. That's 100,000 people unemployed because of just one machine. So the second example I'm going to give is the self-thinking machines. Uh, self-thinking machines are the ones that are going to replace the human workers in the labor force. Um, I'm going to give you two quick examples of how technology um, could, replace in the, could replace humans in this aspect. So the first one is the chest pain robot. The chest pain robot is a machine that st started off not being able to be a beginner in chess, but learning from its past experience, and keep in mind, without any human help, it learned to be the world's best chess player. And this is just a single task machine. Um, imagine a multitask. Well, that's, where, that's what Baxter is. Baxter is a multitask self-thinking machine 
that can do almost any um, low paying job that people are doing today. The only difference is that Baxter doesn't need benefits, it doesn't need wages, it does the job better, and it could do more tasks than humans could do. Which one would you guys hire? So, in conclusion, um, I first talked about how technology has taken away jobs in the past before. Then I explained how technology is increasing at a much faster rate than many of us realize. And finally, I showed you guys examples of how self-thinking machines are capable of taking away jobs today. Um, it is important to, to acknowledge the fact that technology is taking away jobs. Now, I cannot tell you a solution to solve this problem. In fact, I don't think there is a solution. However, I'm going to end my speech with this um, kind of belief that I have. Uh, the first step in solving any problem is acknowledging that there is one. And that's it. Thank you.